What's up, YouTube? Bam, and welcome to another edition of Wolf King's Vids. Okay, I was I was looking at uh, I was looking at some random videos and stuff like on Dreamman's channel when I looked on um, I was looking on this one um, this one video regarding uh, regarding one of my friends Suzuki Doss and how it was called out by um, by Dreamman to empiricism over a comment he made on his um, on one of his video forums stating that uh, Ronnie, aka True Empiricism, was using um, basic science level terms to back up his creationist argument, which really isn't, which actually really isn't that much far off. So Suzuki got called out on G Men's channel with alongside uh, alongside Ronnie, where Suzuki and Ronnie kind of had a back and forth regarding science. Now Ronnie asked him some questions regarding organic chemistry, like um, like what was a covalent bond, um, you know, like that small little, those those small little um, invisible forces that kind of keep that keep atoms together, or um, or you know uh, or compounds like um, like stuff that occurs on the chemical slash atomic level. Now um, Suzuki had some idea of what. True was talking about, but he didn't have those exact definitions on the top of his head. Um, and you know, apparently, apparently, in in like um, in in like uh, Ronnie's mind, it, it, it's amazing how these people like think. Um, if you can't answer those terms, how could you how could you call yourself a scientist or, and stuff like that, or or like um, or a biologist? Here's the thing: those weren't biology questions; those were chemistry questions, and. Suzuki doesn't even work with regard to organic chemistry. He he he's not he's not a chemist. He has a basic bachelor's degree. He's not he's not even a scientist. He fucking works in environmental sampling. He works along side scientists. Okay, this is the problem. These people don't listen. And more importantly, this does no, this does virtually nothing to actually back up his claim about creationism. I mean, you haven't just, you haven't done anything to, to actually substantiate this claim. All you're doing is like um, all you're doing is talking shit and not demonstrating virtually anything. So basically, um, like after a while, I I went over on True Empiricism's uh, one of True Empiricism's second channel, True Talk TV, which is basically consisting of a bunch of religious people just jacking off to how much they love they love God and hate fucking science. And Ronnie was was usually doing his usual thing about saying how how right he was about fucking everything and refusing to um to deal with Redline's challenge, which is to talk to an actual biologist over his claims. Yeah, we we all know why he won't do that. Cause you get destroyed. But um basically while I was in there, I, I just said like, dude, this is all your opinion. You can't actually prove this stuff. So, and and he got butt hurt with it because he knew I was telling the truth and he wanted to come at me. And, um, and, and, like, asked, asked me a couple of questions. He asked me, um, like, what was the ribosome? I recognized it had something to do with enzymes and biochemistry. I, I, I forgot it. it. It was, um, it had something to do with translating proteins. But, you know, and, and, and with that, and with that clarification, he, he said, if you don't, if you didn't know the exact, the exact definition of that term, how can you say my position isn't valid? Let's see, because your position is fucking inconsistent with modern fucking science. Because the Paley's watchmaker analogy means virtually nothing to biologists. Because when they look and study biological processes, they recognize how it's subject to laws of physics and chemistry. And through selective pressures acting on a population through genetic variation, it produced complex structures, adaptations, mutations, and various species adapted for different environments because they're striving to become more fit to their environment through natural selection and genetic mutation. And the reason we understand that is because we have things like fossils, we have DNA, we have homologous structures, we have organisms becoming more resistant to substances that would usually kill them, like um, like uh, bacteria and various pest species. I mean, you know, you know, stuff like this, actual empirical scientific data. But you won't talk to an actual scientist. You'll you'll just you'll just fucking you, you you'll just you'll just write that off as you know as just dishonest talk, apparently. So we got into a shouting match, and after I deconstructed the argument, 
I, you know, he, he, he kept talking over me and stuff like that. And I'm all like, you know what? I, I, I don't need this shit. You, you can't actually prove God and you won't prove, um, prove anything you're saying to me. So you know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. So, so then he started moaning on about like, if, if you want evidence, man, what, why are you, why are you like, like walking off on me? What, why are you, you know, why are you treating me unfairly? Why are you being so close minded? Here, here's the thing, dude. Here's the thing. First of all, I don't need to fucking get into this argument with you again because I that's pretty much consistent with my fucking channel. You can look at the videos where I broke this down before. Okay? Until, until you could actually demonstrate how an invisible mind produced, you know, physical species. When, the, the moment you prove that with any type of empirical evidence and not just some philosophical intuitive assumptions, when you can do that, then I'll actually say you know what you're talking about. But until then... Until then, you're just making you're just making extraordinary claims that you can't back up. Just faith-based arguments based on nothing. And also, here's the thing. I also said I was going to leave anyway before the fact because I didn't like the way you were coming at me. And also, like, why the fuck would I want... What the fuck was there that I wanted anyway? I mean, it was a clusterfuck full of dudes at 3 in the morning. Alright? I, I, I didn't need that crap. And you weren't even gonna you, you weren't even addressing my claims, so I didn't even feel the need to actually stay and deal with that crap. So you know that's my that's my two cents on it. If you can't prove if you can't prove your invisible mind hypothesis with any empirical evidence, then I'm gonna go with the simplest explanation that you're full of shit and you don't know anything you're talking about. I'm gonna go with the actual experts who know what they're talking about working in the field. Oh and um FYI dipshit arguments Argument from popular that that's not an argument for popularity. That's an argument from authority. Those guys are the actual experts. And I trust them over your fucking dumbass. So maybe you want to get your maybe you want to get your terms and your fucking stuff together yourself before you actually start coming at me like you actually have a case, which you don't. But um, that's my five cents on this. So Mr. Guy of the Gaps, put up or shut up. Alright, this is that's been essentially my video. Alright. This has been Wolf King. Peace out. If you like this video, comment, fave, like, subscribe, leave me your thoughts. If there's anything I, you want me to talk about specifically, um, I'll consider it. Whatever. Peace.